Hey, uh, John, only play Wizards, what do you want to call me? Uh, so yeah, wife and I moved into a new house and I uh, built a new gaming area, dungeon, what do you want to call it. Uh, pretty happy with it. So I'll give you guys a quick tour of it, uh, show you around, see what's kind of going on with it, uh, the space and such like that. And uh, here we go. All right, so first up is I got um, both of my bookcases actually in here. Well, these are actually Jay's from the third bookcases. Um, but I got them from him when he moved, uh, and uh, they are massive, as you can see. Um, this one here, um, I kind of have up in the corner here, kind of the games we play. So here's my 10th anniversary of Catan. I have um, Dungeon Mayhem and then uh, Three Dragon Ante, which are kind of our favorite tabletop games here. Um, all the shelf space is empty out. So this is kind of some decor here. A uh, little statue one of friends made for me. A uh, little, little small painting, my D&D hats. Um, and then my... Books on this shelf, I have all my Moorcock stuff. So this is all Michael Moorcock, and it goes through over here as well. And then I have my H.P. Lovecraft stuff, which is largely divided by either uh, fiction or in our scholarship. Here's like letters by him and everything. Um, I got some nice bundles of sage I've been having, which I always need to freaking use. Um, down here is some more decor. A little box that Lisa Penrose made that I, I picked up from her. Uh, some kind of fun little candles, my Albot. Uh, snow globe and over here I have like graphic novels and such I really love so a lot of this is all kind of fantasy oriented uh, definitely geared towards that got some of my friends got some stuff uh, tales and AD stuff etc at the bottom I have my non D&D RPG so like Judge Dredd, The Green Knight, Dragon Age, The Expanse um, I have a Vampire the Masquerade book that actually like it has some has a bunch of autographs in it um, my Mutant Chronicle stuff which actually I have a lot of sadly uh, Alternity, Call of Cthulhu uh, Cyberpunk, Aberrant, which is one of my favorite RPGs of all time, sorry, there's, uh, and then Legend of the Five Rings, and I have a ton of Legend of the Five Rings stuff from, uh, first and second edition. And I have both my stat, my staves over here, some of my wizard staff, and the walking stick my grandpa used to go across Germany. Uh, we we'll go over here, I have, um, this Adam Burke painting I've had for a while, uh, get a kind of a better angle on it. This has always been kind of a centerpiece for... Honestly, uh, whatever I'm gaming, uh, it's one of the first pieces of his I ever purchased. And I love it. Um, this is a great, great piece. Uh, I have kind of like what's quote unquote my altar, if you will, uh, with some coins and some stones, some wands that I've picked up, some books. Uh, I have my Oracle deck by uh, Becky Clune in there. Uh, the large Beholder Eye from one of our, our finale from our uh, first, uh, the first part of our campaign, if you will. Um, the vases and the miniatures for my for uh, for my current game, etc. The display case I've put in the. Um, some kind of fun, decor, this fun miniature pieces I have that um, honestly I just didn't want to store anywhere else, but they look good in the case actually, kind of add some flavor to the space. Uh, moving on to my other uh, book kelp, bookshelf. Uh, up atop, I got some of my pieces by uh, Wormwalk Jerry up there. It's kind of fun. The uh, My original Dungeon Dragons Arcade Tower of Doom marquee. Uh, my D&D vinyl records um, that I have, I still haven't listened to, I haven't opened, which I'm hesitant to. Uh, these are miniatures for my uh, one of my paid games. Um, one of my game, one of my games to start playing uh, games. Uh, this is actually all my player stuff, like my own personal player. So it's my own personal dude, Telerion. There's my little dice box, uh, my dice are in one of the cups, uh, my little dice tower, um, and stuff like that. There's a, one of our main villains from our campaign. Down below, I got stuff for my players. So I got some of the cards we use. One of their dice towers is here. Our little. Uh, Dice box here, some dice uh, rolling trays. Uh, here's my DM stuff. So I have like my own dice tray that I use, uh, my DM screen, and then my the Cauldron Tower piece that um, Talon and Claw did for me. Then we get into all the Dungeons and Dragons books that I have. Um, so I have this kind of set up by here. It's like miscellaneous stuff about D&D. Um, just kind of either official or like basically non-game stuff. Uh, fifth edition starts here and goes through over here. Um, and then down below I have like non-official D&D, uh, stuff. Then I go to first edition, second edition, and then eventually jump into third edition, and then fourth edition at the bottom. Um, I also got these dope-ass bookends, which I really, really like. Um, I'm gonna get a light on here for you guys, so you can see them there. Yes, this does have a chain that moves. It's kind of a cool little flail. Uh, I don't know what the other piece you'd call it. More like a machete, if anything, but those are super awesome. Love those. Picked those up at a local store, Abracadabra. Uh, moving on to the side here, um, I have like a bunch of wizard art. So I have like a piece by Adam Burke. Um, That's by uh, Michael Shung, who plays in my other game along with Jerry. And then another Adam Burke piece I picked up. So kind of my wizard corner. 
Uh, those that know, I'm big on vinyl, so I have uh, music. So here's like three of my favorite music posters I own. My Uncle Acid, Person, and Lucifer. Um, I believe the the two on the right are Alan Forbes. This one, I always forget the artist on this one. That Uncle Acid one, but that's actually my favorite one I have. Then here's my, my um, stereo, my turntable. Uh, I got my soundtracks down here. This is all stuff I'm currently like, it's in my queue to listen to. I have a lot of it. I'm kind of behind. Speaker over here. Um, moving around the room, you can see that I have my uh, vinyl record collection. Uh, right now, what's kind of annoying is that we went to Ikea and they, they're like out of calyxes, these, these storage pieces. Um, so there's a big gap right here uh, and I need another uh, one of these tall these, these pieces here to put there. Um, so I'm going to wait for that, but that's okay. I'll be okay with it. I have a temporary solution that I'll show you here in a second. Other speaker. Uh, over here I have uh, some more original art. This is a... Uh, um, Lainey, who's my tattoo artist. Uh, I got a piece by her. This uh, David Paul Seymour piece, he for Gygax, which I really adore. Um, definitely central to my thing. My seven inch records down here, my copy of Dungeon, which I need to figure out how to store. Uh, the front window, so you can see out to the neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood, it's pretty quiet. Uh, down here right now, this is storing records currently. And I really don't want to store my records here. So these are the ones that need to go up into the corner. But uh, eventually, I want to have my players' materials down here. So, like, their character sheets, dice, pencils, clipboards, whatever they need, uh, those be down there. Charging station, I got some of my candles here too. Um, a wireless charging station and a wired charging station. This candle uh, stand that I've had for, my parents had forever. I love it, um, it's super creepy. Uh, over here in the corner is kind of my reading corner. Um, and I have some original artworks. My, one of my, my only JH ones, actually one of my, one of my JH ones third original pieces for, of Elric. Uh, Carmen's pieces of Elric that he uh, he was so kind to let me purchase from him. Uh, an old original Adam Burke ink piece, which is super fun. Uh, and then over here I have more original Adam Burke's um, hanging up. And then I have this really great um, piece by print by uh, Becky Clunan that I love. And then uh, you can see that I have a couch over here so people can chill out. I come in here and lay down and listen to music a lot. It's, it's really awesome at night. Uh, you've probably seen my stories about it on Instagram. Uh, the central part is the table. So here's the table for where we're going to game at. Um, right now it's pretty empty, which is cool, because that's how it should be. We're going to game this weekend. Um, I have one friend that is part of my uh, circle here. To the, uh, my, what's it called? What was that called? Whatever that is. Um, yeah, for quarantine and stuff like that, he's going to come over and hang out. And the rest will be through um, uh, Zoom. And actually, the, the, the wireless router is actually on the other side of these books right here. So uh, it'll have a really good connection um but yeah it's a great ikea table actually this is a nice little extendable table it fits the space really nicely there's plenty of space to move around and such which i'm excited about and then my most recent addition is uh i got these pieces by bonded by wood um a various Fre frazetta and uh, vallejo art um and they're up here above the uh walkway and such so really digging these um they have some more flavor i got some more space for some more i might want to get maybe two more to add on and such but overall, um, pretty happy with the space. It came together pretty well. Um, everything fits pretty much how I expected it to. Um, just waiting for a uh, pandemic to kind of cool down so we can all uh, get back together and hang out and have folks over and, uh, you know, have a nice time. So, but thank you for checking it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it.